Good morning, good morning. You are welcome to the house. For some time, I've not been on daily realities. The activities has actually been crazy. You know, but thank you. <laughs> wow, thank you. I'm blushing. <laughs> I want you to appreciate God for bringing us into the beginning of Amen, the beginning of another working week. Wow, this morning we are looking at mysteries of greatness, mysteries of greatness. Once again, I want to greet you, unstoppable victory, Ayo. I want to remind you that Hallelujah. And I want us to take a test from Matthew 5 19 this morning. Indeed, God has been very faithful to us. <coughs> Testimonies <coughs> has been rocking the house. <clears throat> on daily basis and then I believe it can only be God you know if it is not for Jesus I don't know but I want you to know something for sure in this season the Lord will make you a shining star to the glory of his own name Everyone desires to be great, without any exception, yes, everybody desires to be great, but hear me, only few people make it to greatness, but the Bible said something to us, whosoever therefore shall break one of the least commandments and shall teach men so. He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Wow. Wow. It means that there are people that break God's commandments. Not just do they break it. You know what they do? They also teach people to break it. Amen. So... <clears throat> if in this season you have to become a shining star, then there are some things that you have to do. I know. Amen. You have to you have to ensure that not just are you obeying the commandments? But you are actually teaching people to do so. You are 
actually teaching people to do so. Praise the Lord. You know, some people, most times, they drag people to do something thinking that they are bringing down someone. They drag people into that sin to help them perpetrate something against God's kingdom. God is saying that they are going nowhere. They cannot rise. As a person that really wants to be great, if an honest question is asked to you, what price are you determined to pay for greatness? What would you say? What price are you determined? What price are you determined to pay for greatness? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a question that I'm asking this morning. Hallelujah. What pride are you determined to pay for greatness? What price are you determined to pay for greatness? Amen. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. According to Jesus, it is your attitude to God's word that determines if you will be great or not. Attitude. 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 Attitude to God's word. Attitude to God's word. Remember that that little welcome there. That little, um, uh, what do you call it? This little mathematics we do in school that they keep writing alphabets. And when they write alphabets, they write numbers on them. If you happen to write the alphabet A to Z, okay, and you write the numbers on that, amen, it will give you 1 to 26 or thereabout. Praise God. And you decide to pick out the numbers that are attached to the letter's attitude. Do you know if you add them up, it's going to give you a hundred. I don't know if I'm making sense this morning. If you if you if you add them all, what you're gonna be getting is hundred. Simply meaning that your attitude to God's word determines. Amen. Determines if you're gonna be great. Or not, and if that be the case, it means for you to a certain hundred percent greatness, your attitude to God's word counts. Amen. The first part of it says, Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so shall be called least, least in the kingdom of God, in the kingdom of God. Your desire or wish to be great is not enough. It is not for you to wish it or to desire it. That one is not enough. God does not rule the universe by desire. He rules by unchanging principles in his word. Unchanging, 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 child of God. Unchanging principles. He's not going to, because of you, change his principles. 
These principles are already laid. Am I making sense? They are already laid. They are already there. Praise God. They are already there. So, wisdom demands. Amen. Wisdom demands that you do what? Align yourself. You align yourself to understand this and to do what the demands are. If you are violating God's word, encouraging others by your examples and by the words of your mouth to do same, you can never be great. If you are violating his word and encouraging others to do sin, either by word or by deed, forget it. Greatness is not part of the things that will happen for you. Just take it from me. Greatness is far from one of the things that can happen for you. How do people violate God's word? How do people violate God's word? What is God's word? God's word is what you see in scripture. The scripture is his words. The scripture. If he says that it's not right to sow discord amidst brethren, and you're sowing discord amidst brethren, and encouraging the people around you to sow discord amidst brethren, greatness is far from you. Praise God. If he says that uh, 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 that you should go out there and bring in souls to his kingdom, and you're not doing that, and you're not encouraging others to, and you're encouraging others to do what you are doing, forget it. Why go for evangelism? They are just looking for people to come and bring people to them. You see that? You see that? Child of God, greatness is far from you. Do you know that scripture says that woe unto him that removes people from the congregation of the brethren? So some of us, what we do is to encourage people to leave a particular congregation because we are not happy with those people or because we are not satisfied with what those people are doing. Child of God, greatness is far from you. Remember, I said to each and every one of you this morning that everybody wants to be great. Everybody. Every, without an exception. Everyone wants to experience greatness. Everyone wants to be called great. Everyone wants to be identified as someone that is doing something great. But I want to tell you this morning. Okay? That if that has to happen for you, you have to not just obey his word, but encourage others to obey his word. But encourage others too to do the same. Praise God. When you see anything that is not right, do not be part of it. Reject it immediately. Let your stand be made known. Some people are afraid to let their stand be made known. People will be discussing something that is not right, that is detrimental to the body of Christ. They contribute. They cannot show that they don't like that, that they are not one of those people. Why? Because they don't want to lose that circle of friends. There is nothing you lose for the love of Jesus that is not a plus. No matter how beautiful and attractive and how much you want that thing, if you lose it because you prioritize Jesus, it is not a loss, it is a plus. Take it from me. It is gain, it's not loss. Praise God. Children of the Most High God, walking in His Word and inspiring others to do so, all you just need is time. Greatness will come to you.
I prophesy to as many as are under the sound of my voice. As you keep walking in his word and inspiring others to do the same, greatness is coming to you. 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 Greatness is coming to you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Am I making sense? Because part B says, but what whosoever shall do and teach them the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. They shall be called what? Great in the kingdom of heaven. Child of God, on daily basis, I see the Lord doing awesome things in the lives of people. And you are part of the people that he will do awesome things for in this season to the glory of God. Hear me. What is the connection between doing and not doing the word of God? You may be asking. It's a good question. That what is the connection of greatness to doing the word of God? Or not doing what they want. I want to simply put it this way. Hear me. No matter what anybody has, it is God that makes great. It is God that makes great. It is God that makes great. Hear me. Each and every one of us, as children of God, let us yearn to get satisfied when God is glorified. Am I making sense? Yes. Yearn to be satisfied when God when God am I making sense? When God is glorified. How many times has your quest and motive in what you're doing been, Jesus, I want to glorify? How many times? How many times? Child of God, how many times? Oh. It is time that our yearning and our quest should be for God to be glorified. Praise God. Child of God, wisdom is profitable to direct. It's not about you. It's not about me. It's about Jesus. It's about Jesus. Until we understand that, we are far from it. Until we die to self. I was discussing with a man of God. He said that the God that is pushing people to, 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 to hell today is the God of self. Everything is about me, myself, and I. When are we going to get to the page of being selfless for Jesus? Until we get to that page of selflessness for Jesus and teaching people selflessness for Jesus, then greatness will be very far away from us. Strive, rank, or competition, it has to stop. It takes nobody nowhere. God will just open up one little door and the person sees one little honor or one little whatever and space will no longer contain the person. I don't get it. Pride goes before you fall. If you want to be great, humility is the route. If you want to be great, doing his word and teaching people to do his word is the route. If you just continue doing that, child of God, 
you will sit down and greatness will come to you. You will no longer pursue greatness. Greatness will pursue you. Hear me, child of God. It is God that makes great. It is God that makes No one can be great except the Lord permits it. Because he rules and reigns in the affairs of men. So no one can ever be great without permission from Jesus. It is the Lord that makes. He said he's the one that lifted and he's the one that brings it down. I am telling you. I am telling you. Oh, hear me. The world is ruled by the word of God. Because he brought the word to be by his word. He said, and let there be, and let there be, and everything came into being. So for everything to function the way it is functioning, it is ruled and it is reigned, and, 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 and it is established by his word. If you were committed to God and his word, oh, child of God, it will be his pleasure to truly make you great. True greatness is a reality. True greatness. Am I making sense? True greatness is a reality. True greatness is a reality. Ha, child of God. You let me tell you. Let me tell you. People struggle for things that are supposed to be their birthright. Things that are supposed to just come to them. They struggle because of self. Until self is killed. Okay? You will find out that getting there is a bit far. Hello? I want you to understand that it should be your decision today. Make up your mind today. Say from today, I want to be called a great man or a great woman. I'm telling you. Then you will be amazed. You will be amazed. You will be amazed. Child of God. God is still in the business of making great men. He is still in the business of making it happen. Deuteronomy chapter 4 says, Behold, I have taught you my status and judgment, even as the Lord my God commanded me, that you should do so in the land where you go to possess. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nation, which shall bear all those statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Surely this great nation. God actually desires that you should be great. Remember what he said to Abraham. He said, I will make you great. I will make you great. That was what he called Abraham. And the next thing he said to Abraham, you know, I will make you great. That is his desire. Part of the package of God for you is that you will be great. You know, that is part. Immediately he called him. That is what he said to him. That is what he said to him. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Immediately he called Abraham and said, And I will make of thee a great nation, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. Child of God, it is possible for you to be a blessing. It is possible for you to be a great man and woman. It is possible for your lineage to be identified with greatness. I pray for you today. By the reason of obedience to his word, you will be great. You will be great. You will be great. Hear me. You don't need shortcuts. You don't need shortcuts. You just need to keep doing it. Keep doing his word. Keep teaching people to do his word.
Keep doing his word. Keep teaching people to do his word. And you will emerge a great man and a great woman. You know what? This is also the secret of all round peace. You want peace in your home. You want peace in your workplace. You want peace in your neighborhood. This is the secret. This is the secret. You're blessed. You're highly favored. This is the beginning of a new week. I prophesy greatness into your week. I prophesy that unstoppable victories remains your portion. Unstoppable victories in your going out. Unstoppable victories in your coming in. Unstoppable victories in anything that you set your hands to do. Don't forget, share on your timeline. Be part of the WhatsApp prayer chat. It's plus 23480-584-66101. Praise the Lord. I see the Lord doing for you exceedingly abundantly more than you can ever hope and believe in. I pray for you. The blessings of the Lord that make it rich and add it no so shall remain your portion. Hear me. We are Jesus advertisers. Oh yes. That's why we keep saying Jesus must be famous. To the glory of God the Father. I pray for all my partners. I pray. Open heavens. Favor before God and before me. Money will answer to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for all my encouragers. If I come online, they are online. You will never lack encouragers in your life. I pray for every member of this great movement. Wisdom to do the right thing. The Lord will put inside of you. In the mighty name of Jesus. You're blessed. And you're highly favored. Amen.